Now the first bridge I'm going to do is I'm going to use these 5mm timber profiles instead of using cork and they're the same thickness as the cork so up this end it will be cork and then onto the bridge it will be these pine pieces. Now also I'm going to have sides on it which will be on the side of the ply board. Now also I've got a round the corner off on each end so when I lift it it will, it will miss the other piece of ply board. So there will be one on each side and also I'll be using these balsa strips which will go on the sides of the timber. So I'll go ahead and just cut the round corners off and I'll glue this balsa on and then I'll glue it to the first bridge. Okay, I've just cut the strips for the side beams. So all I'm going to do now is is super glue them. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, the bridge sides are now being all glued. So all I'm going to do is put it on the lift up. Also I've put the cork down on the ends and uh, the timber underlay on the bridge. Then when all that dries I'll put the sides up. Okay the first bridge now is sort of complete, I've just got to paint it. Now this bridge is a girder bridge and all the bridges are going to be different so I'm having one girder bridge. Now I've nailed these on. I was going to fill in the nail holes but I thought when I paint it it might look like they're big rivets so I'm going to leave them just painted. and uh, pine road beds down so yeah I thought I'd show you before I painted it so now I'm going to paint it and I'm going to paint it a charcoal colour so it, more grey than anything but it's called charcoal so I'll paint it and I'll show you what the difference is Okay, the first bridge now is all painted. Just got to put the tracks in. And she misses the gap. So now on to number two bridge, which will be this one. And this one I'm going to bolster wood the top. Like so, and also a strip on the side. So this whole top of the bridge will all be balsa wood. Then the track will just sit on top. So I'll go ahead and do that one.
Okay, with this second bridge, when I put all these pieces of timber on the top of the bridge, this is also going to be a, a, a deck um, truss. Now, with the deck truss, I just don't, I don't want to see any of these clips, as you see here. So what I'm going to try and do is, is cover the clips, but still be able to use them. So the plan is I'm going to use a piece of ply and go roughly there, screw it from the top. So when I lift it up, this 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 will come up with the bridge, and then I will use a piece of masonite on the other side. To sort of cover the, the clip as well but this will be nailed on here and always stay here so when this bridge lifts up I can still access the clip down the bottom and by going from the bridge with this block I can still access it from underneath and then I can do my deck bridge so I'll go ahead and do that and see what it looks like okay I've covered all the um, clips now as you can tell you can't see them but I can still access them from underneath now the only thing left to, do, to sort of do is that big hole at the end which I'll cover up but I've still got some sort of wiring stuff to do so I'll do that at a later st stage but all down and all covered now I've also finished off the other end the ones with the hinges on now the one of the things I had to do was the center bridge was is this piece of um, masonite to, to cover the hole I had to put it on so it actually swings back And swings back into its spot. Now I'm hoping when it's all scenic up it's going to look much better. It doesn't look much chopped the way it is. Just another look at the other end and I'll show you what it looks like once all the gates are up, all the lift bridges. And as you can see, these have to be here to cover it up. I had no other choice. So the plan is still to have have like a mountain scene coming all all the way from here and down and down here. And I'm just hoping that's going to make it look better because it absolutely looks you know what. But anyway, back on the bridges. Okay, the next job on the second bridge is I'm going to use wood glue and glue all the top to put me balsa wood down normally I've been using super glue when I'm using balsa wood but because um, I've got so much to do 
I thought I'd use wood glue. So I'll just do a bit first, just to show you. And where the mason knight is, they're actually just a touch longer than what they normally should be. So that's how much glue I'm putting down. And all I'm going to do is put these on like so. And I'll just do a little bit because otherwise we'll be here all night. So once I put all these on it, then I'll just put weights on top and and leave it there for 24 hours. And as I said before, this is also going to be a, a deck truss. But I've got to build that yet. So this, is, <coughs> this whole job's taken me a bit longer than I expected. It doesn't matter if these aren't perfectly straight, they're only timber boards down on a, and, and the um, track will just sit on top. Now I was going to hang some out further like so, but because of my bridge, on my first bridge it would hit it so I can't do that but there's plenty of <coughs> plenty of room on this for not not having that so I've just about nearly finished the longer ones So that's all the long ones. So I'll carry on and I'll show you the end result. Okay, all the balsa wood's dried now. So that's what she looks like. I've just got to put the track on top. And there's enough clearance at the end. So I'll make this a part three because it's taken me so long and I've still got stacks more, more to do. As I said, I've still got the deck truss, which will run under here, which I'm going to make out of balsa wood as well. So I'll put this one up and stay tuned for the next one guys.